You're listening to SoFloRadio.com. SoFloRadio.com presents the real estate king of South Florida with your host, Philip Simonetta, PA. Founder of the Simonetta Group of Charles Ruttenberg Realty and the Real Estate King Coaching and Consultant Group, specializing in introducing structure, authenticity, and humanity into the real estate world. Not to mention a splash of wild and crazy. We bring you your host, Philip Simonetta, PA. Hey, welcome to the Real Estate King of South Florida. This is Philip Simonetta. Wanted to wish everybody a uh, great Thanksgiving week. Uh, we are here this evening, and what we're going to speak about this tonight is we're going to talk a little bit about the rental process for landlords and for renters, which will be tenants. Um, tonight, I have a few, a couple guests here. Uh, my son is in town from Pennsylvania, Aiden Simonetta, next to me. Hello. <laughs> and I also have a buyer's agent who works with me on my team, Kareem Bell. Um, he's right here next to Aiden. Hey, everyone. <laughs> so what we're going to do is that's that's going to be our topic this evening, talking about the, the tenants, the landlords, the renters. Um, we're also going to speak about our event this week um, on Thanksgiving. We have our Thankful for Thanksgiving event yes. um, where we are feeding up to 300 people. Um, for Thanksgiving, anybody who's hungry, anybody who needs a meal, um, I'm going to get into details on that. Um, and, uh, we're also going to speak about, you know, it's, it's Thanksgiving week. So we, we're all going to just, you know, have a conversation about what we're thankful for, uh, at this point in our, in our life and, and where we're going with it. And, um, finally, I'm going to make in the, um, cooking segment of this episode, we're going to make a, a homemade Lebanese style tzatziki with cucumber. Uh, salad. So that's going to be this this episode. Um, to get into the first topic is going to be the landlords um, with rentals and you know tenants looking to find a new rental or a new place to live, moving to Florida or upgrading from a previous. Um, and that that's an area of real estate that I've noticed is is usually overlooked. It's more of just ran. It's just like you know somebody looks is looking for an apartment, they find a realtor, boom, they go look at a property. Or a landlord, you know, has multiple units. Some some have five units. Some have two units. Some have a hundred units. And you know, it's it's not taken as seriously as the selling market or the listing or the buying market because there's a different value to it. Um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of paperwork, and it's the same things that are entailed in purchasing, where your numbers are, are less, your your commissions are less. So a lot of people. Just, you know, run with it. There's no systems in place and there's no organization to it. And Which is kind of, that's interesting because, like, if you think about it, like, there's probably a whole lot more people regularly in that market, mm -hmm. uh, you know, on a, on a regular basis. So yeah. it's like, a, a you know, a, a great opportunity to help a lot of people. It's, it's a higher volume. Renters turn into buyers eventually. So when you build relationships with people, because that's what we do. Our goal is to build that relationship with the person, not just to sell a property or, or, or find them a home. It's to build a relationship with them, to deal with them ongoing for their relatives, their kids, their aunts, their uncles, their neighbors. So we want to build relationships with them so we're dealing with their family. We're the person to go to when right. it comes to any real estate. So for me and for us, what we do is, you know, I have a system in place. We have a system in place. And it's just treated just like a buyer, just like a seller. You know, um, when someone calls in and wants to rent a property, uh, what, I, what we do that's different than the other, you know, companies out there, is we actually sit down with the client. You know, mo most agents will come at, come in, and you know, somebody calls in about a rental. Boom, they go meet them at the property, or they want to run a credit check right away, or they want to make sure they're rentable. And what happens is, you know, these people out there looking for properties are on Zillow and Trulia and all these sites. They find one property here, one property there, one property there, and they're calling five different realtors, and they're looking at properties in the same building with different realtors. <laughs> It's like crazy, and half of them don't show up. Half of them don't know where they are. They can't get in the, they can't get the key in the door. You can't know? be fun. It's insane. <laughs> so what I tell them is when I speak to them, I say, listen, come into the office. I know you want to look at this property. This property is available or it isn't available. I tell them. I look it up right there. And I say, look, you take 10, 15 minutes with me. We sit down. I find out everything you're looking for. 
I treat you just like a buyer. I'm not going to just go show your property quick and if it works, great. What I'd rather do is sit down with you 10 minutes, find out everything you need, and then we can do a live search. We can look at 10 or 15 different properties that you like, and we can go look at them all at once. And once you find one, we can draw up a contract to lease, have it all in, and have it done by the next day. And you know where you're moving. So, you know, it, it's a much simpler way, and they don't have to deal with 15 different people not knowing what they're doing. You know, it's a simple process, and we get to know them. At that point there, we can do the, cre- the, the tenantcheck.com, you know, where we do the background check and everything, because that, because that has to be submitted. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, basically, you have to submit the, the, the credit and the income to prove that they can then rent it, you know, for the landlord. Um, a lot of homeowners applications or, or HOAs or condo associations, you know, there's a process to that as well. So in, in the process of renting, you know, we have the contract to lease. Now, the contract to lease is just our offer to rent it. Then the landlord accepts it. At that point, when that's accepted, then the lease is drawn up and then the lease is executed and then once the lease is executed, if there's a condo association or a homeowners association, you now have to do that application, which sometimes takes two, three, four weeks. So, you know, somebody puts a deposit down, and for some reason, if that doesn't get approved at the HOA, they get their money back. But it's a four, three, four week process on a lot of properties here because there's a lot of associations, you know, and that's the process. That's how it goes. And so basically, what we do is we make things is just really easy for people all the way around yeah. and you know like i was explaining i was talking to a, a potential client today he's looking to lease a property probably in uh, april um and, and just let them know about that process and you know mm-hmm. people like that because you know you think about it you, you come into our office you sit down you know we have the big screen there you see you actually see the properties what what's on the market in real time you know and you know, you, you know what you want. By the time we're going out there, you you already pretty much know what you want. And now, you know, a lot of logistics is taken care of. A lot of things are out of the way. You go out there and you just get what you want. So it's really yeah. efficient. Indeed. And, um, you know, we just deliver. So Yeah, and not to mention, I also negotiate it. You know, one thing we do with rentals, I mean, it's a little tough in this market because there's not enough rentals for the people. But, look, if we can save somebody 50 to 100 bucks a month, you know, to the landlord, look, they just want to get it rented. They'll come down 50 to 100 bucks. Right. And for the tenant, that's huge. You know, you no got doubt. kids in college. You got people down here. I mean, another another type. Even of, even if you think even God. just even just fifty dollars a month, on, uh, that's a lot of money for somebody th- 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 over a year. Mm-hmm. Do the math. Yeah. How much did you yeah. save? Exactly. You exactly. Know? Yeah. Exactly. And the the point the point of the matter is there's also a different type of renter as well. We have seasonal rentals here. You know, we have people coming down from November, December, January to like February, March, April, May. And they leave in May or April. So, you know, I have a lot of Canadian clients who are in town. You know, another uh, the, the way it works with them is, I mean, there's there's clients I've sold and, and rented properties to. I never met them because wow. everything's done digitally. So I have Canadian clients that call from our marketing and they want to find a rental. I find the rental for them. I do a Skype view with them. Like I just did, I did one today and I'll tell you in a second. Mm-hmm. Um, I did a Skype walkthrough with them. They like the place. They wanted to make an offer. I emailed them the contract. They sign it digitally. I send it to the other agent. We get it done. They send the lease over. I send it to them. They sign it digitally again. They send a check, and they come down. They do the HOA application, and when they come down, they have to come down a couple days before because they got to do the physical interview before they can move in. So they come down like a week before. They stay in a hotel. They do the interview. They get approved. They move in. Never meet them. I, I got people I don't meet. They close the deal. And we go get coffee two weeks later. It's they, insane, they, and, and you yeah. know they must feel pretty, you know, taken care of. Indeed, and, and and the thing is, it turns into a buyer. Now, the same gen- this gentleman I'm talking about, this uh, Canadian gentleman, he's actually looking for a condo to buy, mm. and because of the way I treated him, you know, on the on the lease on the rental, which I mean, you don't make a ton of money on that. It's mm-hmm. more of a service, mm-hmm. you know. But if you do enough of them, you you make some money. Mm-hmm. But the thing with it is the, the ability now that he's looking for a condo. He's a cash buyer. He has plenty of money. Right. It's just, look, I, I spent the time. I got this lease done for him. And now while he's here, he's going to buy a property before he leaves in, in May. And it's just a matter of finding the right property for him. You know, another instance is, you know, I, had, I have a client today. Um, actually, you called me when I was when I was with her. Or with, was, was with my son. We went to the property. I did the walkthrough on Skype. Mm. I sent her her buyer's report, a 30-page report, so she can see the property. Um, she's in New Jersey, and I'm um, sent everything up to her. She's considering it, looking it over right now. This evening, she's going to tell me if she wants to make an offer. If she does, 
I'll draw up the contract. I email it to her to sign digitally, and it goes into the agent in the morning. And that's it. It's crazy. So it's like a win-win for everybody. Just imagine, you know, all these people, you know, who want to, you mm-hmm. know, get rid of their properties here. There's investors all over the place, mm-hmm. and you know, people come from everywhere. That yeah. you know, the way we market, yeah. you know, it's just, it's just, we get, we get it done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> now, <laughs> right, exactly. So, so the whole, the whole thing is, you know, in that case, that's just an example of the system. You know, in real estate, a lot of companies you deal with don't have systems. You go to real estate school, you get your license, and you get thrown out there to the wolves. And some survive and some don't. And 86% of them don't. Every year, 86% turnover in this business. Wow. That's why I developed the training program. That's why the, the realtormarketingcoach.com. Right. That's why I developed that, to teach realtors how to be realtors. And, you know, that that's what we go through. You know, we're, we're our training, you know, mm-hmm. we have a new 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 program starting on, mon- on Monday. Right. And, um, you know, we have two new agents that came over. A third one, actually, I just spoke to is coming Friday. We're going to have three new agents coming for the training. Okay. And coming over to our company, cool. Um, so that just gives you an example. It's the system. When people come in, they're just they're baffled. They 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 know about getting something, buying, leasing. They don't have a way to go. They're looking to you for guidance. And that system that we have in place, the buyer system, the seller system, and the rental system, that is the guidance of what we do. We show them the flow chart. We show them what's coming next. Here's what you can expect. Here's what could happen. You know. Giving them this, the, the flow chart and showing them, hey, look, these are the 25 things that could pop up sometime, even though 99% of the time they don't, it's good to address them because if it does pop up a month down the road, you say, hey, look, go look at number 23 there. Remember we talked about that? Here's the solution. Remember, it's right there. Right. You give them a copy of it. Right. So that system, it just gives everybody peace of mind. So it's kind of like you you come in with an overview of everything, mm-hmm. and and then we have structures in place to get it get it get your needs handled. Indeed, it doesn't matter what you're if you're buying, if you're renting, if you're leasing, it doesn't matter. But the biggest thing, like I I like helping renters. You know, R- renting is you know it's a start for people. You know, from college kids moving in and 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 starting off. You know, and then you have people in town that are here for luxury. You know, just for a seasonal rental who are pretty wealthy and they just don't want to buy yet. But if you can make that connection, that's huge. Right. They're going to be a buyer. They're going to buy a property here. Right. You know, it's South Florida. I mean, it, it, that's that's 90% of the people that buy were here renting before they bought. Right. So if you can get into that that link there, you know, you got to look long term. You know, I'm, I'm talking on the agent side, business, professionally. I'm not talking on the client side. You have to look long term as an agent to make that deal now that's going to turn into three later. You know, we have a long way to go. I'm, I just turned 39. How, how old are you, Cram? Well, I'm 36. 36? Yeah, I wish I was 36. <laughs> My son just turned 17. What I give that to be I 17. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because he's really quiet. He's never quiet, this kid. <laughs> Say something. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Say something meaningful. That, that's two. That's two. That's, um, I'm counting words today. Two? Two words? Are two. Two. <laughs> I don't count them. Uh, oh, we're, so, ta- we're racking so, them up now. <laughs> five. That's five. I guess I, I'm just thinking he, he probably doesn't have a career in the future in real estate because he don't talk. <laughs> He'll be the, the silent realtor. <laughs> He'll have a lot of friends. <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> so, it's okay. It's all right. So, uh, Better be. but that, that's the whole, the whole principle of it is really to help them. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter what they're looking for. And to give them this, give them the structure and the stability they need mm. and show them that you're committed to them. That's all it is. And on the landlord side, now this is something that, I mean, there's a few companies that market. I heard some radio ads today, um, for something called rent something or, and they're trying to work in the rent market. And, you know, with landlords, you know, landlords have a lot of responsibility, you mm-hmm. know, legally, um, financially, and they got to maintain these properties. Property management companies are out there. Mm-hmm. And with the landlords, you know, I like to do a deal with them where if they have a, a complex, go in there and just handle it all. Have the contracts, have everything ready to go, have everything in place. Somebody calls them about a rental, boom, they call us. Right. They send them right to us. We have the application ready to go. It's, it's a 15 minute thing. We email it, boom, 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 send it in, have it signed digitally, and it goes to them. And that, in that case, you know, that's a valuable tool for a landlord or mm-hmm. for a property management company. Or, you know, it just depends on where we could fit into that puzzle piece for them. Mm-hmm. And that's that, that's where it is, like in the, li- in the listing on the real est- on, on the rental side. So, being able to show a landlord your system 
how efficient you are, and the fact that you can fill in their location with your advertising and marketing for them, is it, it's a it's a really it's a win win for everybody. Um, and that, that's a service we're implementing in, as we speak. Um, mm-hmm. I'm working with a couple companies right now to be their in-house. Mm-hmm. Um, and another thing we're getting into is development. You know, I'm starting to work with builders and developers, and and um, you know, establishing good relationships and rapport. Mm-hmm. Because you see, your actions speak for you. Right. Anybody can sell a, uh, sell anything, especially here. I right. mean, people in, it's like South Florida. It's just. I always say it's a town full of clowns, and a circus tent is it big enough? You, and more, when you touch on that, more what what I what I observe too, which is really important when it comes to anything, it doesn't really matter if it's real estate or whatever mm-hmm. you're doing. Like at the end of the day, it's a people business, right? You're dealing Indeed. with people, sure. and when you're coming from the heart, you know it, it, it speaks volumes, and it's like you're really when you're sincerely looking out for someone. You know, it's a it's a valuable thing that that people need and appreciate. You know, so yeah. and that's what I see like. One of the key, other than the fact that, okay, you're the real estate king of South Florida and you have the whole system down packed, you know, years in the business, you know, can do the paperwork, the transactions with your eyes closed. Like, mm-hmm. other than that, the big key component that our, our group brings is is that heart and that compassion. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Which, yeah. which, which. You know, you you you'll 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 treat the the person who's coming in to to rent a place where it's not a big commission, but it's not about that. It's like okay, I'm serving this human being, indeed, and I'm taking care of them, and that leads to other things. We're building relationships because again, it's a people business. Yeah, you know, so yeah. The only the only goal I have, okay, I I don't care if the client is a million dollar buyer or or a five hundred dollar a month renter. My goal in everything I do, we spoke about this before, is to leave people better off. You know, you got a place for five hundred a month, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> some efficient, just some efficiency. <laughs> I don't personally have, <laughs> but but I'm but I'm trying to just to make the point is, I can't rent a van for <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> we got a shack out. There. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, galvanized steel. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I just want people to be better off. And if I can lead them to be better off, it's not if it's a dollar or a million. I, I don't care. No I doubt. mean, my time is spent on helping people. And um, we're going to take a break. I, and then when I come back, something about helping people. I want to get into the segment about speaking about Thanksgiving Day. Thankful for Thanksgiving. No doubt. So we'll be back in just a minute. And uh, this is the real estate king of South Florida, Philip Simonetta, coming from SoFloRadio.com. We'll be right back with more of the real estate king of South Florida. Put a team of professional consultants behind your home or business computer with Key Information Solutions. Providing solutions to your internet and computing needs while keeping you on the cutting edge of technology. Preventative maintenance and networking support. Hardware and custom built computers. Let Key Information Solutions be your personal tech staff for your home or office with affordable hourly, monthly, or annual rates to fit anyone's budget. Call Key Information Solutions now. 954 9 That's 954-973-3374. Or visit keyinformation.com. Hi, this is Zaina Degaya, and I'd love to share with you about my good friend Nicole of Legit Fitness In-Home Training and Yoga. She's a certified yoga teacher, and she's an amazing and experienced trainer that can design a program to fit your specific needs and goals. She's so cool. She's super committed to making fitness and health fun and accessible for everyone. Plus, your first week is free as a new client. Here's how you set up your first session. Either call 305 335 5590 or visit www.getlegitfit.com G-E-T-L-E-G-I-T-F-I-T getlegitfit.com 305-335-5590 Do it now! Become a leader. I'm Steve Gordon, your host of CEO Your success 
is his business. The radio show for business owners and CEOs. CEOmanship. We talk about how to grow your business, customer retention, customer acquisition. We interview CEOs from across the world and talk to them about their businesses so that they can share ideas with you to help you grow your business. Monday from 2 to 3 p.m. Gordon Partnership, where your success is our business. On SoFloRadio.com. Curious about your property value? Find out for free. Compliments of the real estate king, Philip Simonetta, PA, at thefreevalue.com. Now, back to the real estate king of South Florida. Hi, sauce. welcome back, everybody. And we are going to now speak about our event for Thanksgiving. Uh, it's called Thankful for Thanksgiving. You can actually go on Facebook and just type in Thankful for Thanksgiving. Uh, you're looking at a uh, informational slide of it right now. And what we're doing is this event is created to bring uh, a connection for people. Um, some, you know, th- There's people out there right now that don't have anybody else. Or there's single parents with children. There's elderly people you know, that maybe lost a spouse or just are unable to cook and, and have that special day. And what I wanted to do was to create an event where people could connect different you know different lifestyles different people could connect that would never have connected before and i thought you know how how can i do this you know this is something i want to work on so i thought let's hey let's create this event thankful for thanksgiving and basically you know we're going to feed up to 300 people uh, for thanksgiving day and i set it up uh, at our office Um, What we're doing is behind the office, we have a whole parking garage area and we're putting tables and chairs and we're going to have seating there. And uh, what I did was we created something unique. It's not going to be a traditional Thanksgiving because, you know, we don't have portable ovens that can cook like 50 turkeys. (laughs) So so I thought, you know, how, how can I get creative and how can I bring this to people that just need a meal? You know, it's not about you know, homeless or, or not having money or having money, because I'm sure there's going to be people there who are pretty wealthy and there's going to be people there that don't have anything. And the goal is to really connect these people on a human level. And um, so I'm thinking, how, how can we do this? How can we put this together and how can I make this efficient? So I have a whole mobile kitchen, I you know, owning the nightclubs and the restaurants and, and I have all this equipment and I just have it in storage. So I'm basically going to set up an outdoor kitchen and we're going to make like a vat of spaghetti sauce, <laughs> like from scratch, like we made here on the one episode. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, the first part of the meal is going to be a Caesar salad. The second part is going to be fresh made pasta. And the third for dessert, I'm going to make cannoli. So I have a whole bunch of cannolis and we're going to make them. And, and um, I thought, you know, how, how else to do it? Make like a crazy Italian um you know, event, and we're doing. I mean, another. Uh, you know, Jafari's coming. He's George. Yeah, my, my, George my, my, Jafari. George. You know, <laughs> my, my one of my one of my my partners, DJ Jafari. You know, yeah. also music producer, and yeah. you know, Cordon Blue chef, Jamaican brother, yeah. and he's gonna make some jerk chicken. You know, we, Woo! you know, awesome. <laughs> so so very uh, cool. Yeah, and uh, so we're looking forward to that, and we're just gonna have a good time because of entertainment, music, and just just people, and. At the end of the day, it's going to end up being a great event that's going to most likely go on year after year. It's not going to be a one a one time thing. I want to do this, and I want to, you know, introduce the community and, and have it going on and on. So that's where we're at. So thankful for Thanksgiving. Jump on Facebook, just type it in, and you know, like the page or check it out. And um, come on down. Come on down. Yeah, the the office is is located at thirty three twenty three. Northeast 33rd Street. Um, you can just type in the Simonetta Group of Charles Ruttenberg Realty and um, Google it, and it comes right up uh, where, where the office is. You can put it into your GPS or right on the beach. We're on A1A in Oakland Park in the shopping area on 33rd Street. So uh, you can see a picture of that there if you're watching the webcast. Um, that's the front of our office. Um, okay, so that's what the the, the, the event's going to be about and you know my son my son is actually here um, from Pennsylvania for the holiday with me um, he, he'll be here for the week and it's, it's just a really great opportunity for him and I to share this together and um, 
you know, a passion of mine is cooking, and I want to teach him and have him cook with me. So, you know, we went we went out today and <laughs> loaded up on all the all the the items we had to buy and and everything we're putting together, and we're going to put everything together tomorrow, and we're going to start. We're actually going to start at 11 a.m. on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day at 11. We're going to start cooking, and um, you know, by three four o'clock, we're going to be ready to roll. And we have a bunch of volunteers. If anybody's interested in volunteering as well, um, we have a ton that are coming. But you know, more hands are always great, and it's good to have people around. So if you want to just reach out to us, you can um, either email us or or on Facebook contact us, or you can give me a call um, seven eight six five one nine seven nine nine one. It's seven eight six five one nine seven nine nine one, and um, we're looking forward to having as many people as we can just help out and, and be there. So I just want to um, have Aiden speak a second about what he thinks of the event, and also, you know, Kareem is going to give a, uh, a little bit of a, a, a thought of what he has on it and what he's bringing to it, and uh, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, well, I just think that's great that we have the ability to help people. I mean, if you're hungry, you might as well just come. It's the whole point. Um, if you're not missing much other than good food and good time. Awesome. That's while, the, while the football games on the big screen, no doubt. No. <laughs> <laughs> the TVs in the office. I put all the football games on. Awesome. Watch the and Patriots uh, cheat again. <laughs> that? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> There's so many Patriot fans here, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> They're right. gonna be outside boycotting. <laughs> right. Like, like, di- like, did you did you not know that I moved from New England, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's facts, though. It's facts. <laughs> Oh, well, so. you know, <laughs> all I can say is l- at least you won. <laughs> at least you won. Right, and look at the record. Look and look at the record this hey. year. Yeah. <laughs> How many times the time clock go back? <laughs> we need six seconds. Six, six seconds. <laughs> Whoa, six seconds. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you could do it. <laughs> oh, you guys are terrible. It's fun. <laughs> so, that, so that's cool. That, that, that's cool. That, that's good. That's good that we're uh, we're gonna do that. So, yeah, yeah. What are you thinking about? I mean, it's an it's an amazing thing. You know, like 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 I said, like our group. That's where we come from. We come from contribution. We come from mm-hmm. you know taking care of people. And there's nothing. Uh, more fulfilling in life than to be able to to contribute to others you know and and just you know have a good time and enjoy and and celebrate and 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 appreciate life yeah. you know so that's the opportunity that we have on thursday as a matter of fact i have family members who you know they're cooking thanksgiving dinner i have a friend of mine also that you know have a big dinner that i'm invited to and you know i let them know you know about what we're doing and they're like oh you got to do that <laughs> you know yeah but no, do both man bring them like right, let, right. let them eat come afterwards we're, we're, we're gonna end up being there after seven eight o'clock right i mean i say that time but i know it's gonna go later right, so right, i know right. everybody's gonna be full and eating but you right, know what right, right, just right. come down have a good time man chill right, out right, bring right. them you know no, Tell no, them for sure down, hang out with people. yeah yeah so, so you know that's what it's about exactly you know, you know what i mean it's like people coming together and just having a great time and mm-hmm. and and you know like i said making it available so you know people who you know may be less fortunate or or you know just you like you said don't have the opportunity to, to get that connection now yeah. it's available so bingo cool man all right so that that's the plan that that's what the event's going to be about so that that's where we're at thankful for thanksgiving that's it <laughs> i love it right yeah so awesome man so awesome so anybody has any questions about that reach out to us contact us give me a call um the number again is 786-519-7991 and um, we'll be back in a few minutes uh, for our next segment. This is Philip Simonetta, the real estate king of South Florida, for, coming from SoFloRadio.com. We'll be right back with more of the real estate king of South Florida. Put a team of professional consultants behind your home or business computer with Key Information Solutions, providing solutions to your internet and computing needs while keeping you on the cutting edge of technology. Preventative maintenance and networking support, hardware and custom built computers. Let Key Information Solutions be your personal tech staff for your home or office with affordable hourly, monthly, or annual rates to fit anyone's budget. Call Key Information Solutions now, 954 970 That's 954-973-3374. Or visit keyinformation.com. Strawberry patch and smoothie. Get your hands off me. Huh? I said don't touch me. I shouldn't have went to that party last night. Now I'm seeing talking fruit. You're not dreaming, Bubba. And you're not putting me in that blender. But you're just a fruit. (laughs) 
Who are you calling a fruit? You are. You're, you're a delicious passion fruit. Why, sure, I'm passionate. How would you like to be blended, huh? I got right, you know. Customers waiting. You gotta go. Yeah, but wait, you can poop. <laughs> At Power Smoothie in Aventura, we show fruit no mercy. Always fresh, always delicious. To make the best smoothies and wraps on earth, try our new cilantro lime delicious wrap or our hot chipotle chicken. Power Smoothie in Aventura, located just north of the Aventura Mall in the Promenade Shops. Or call 305 792 5338. Open seven days a week. SoFloRadio.com remains on the air with free archives thanks to the support of our listeners. Help keep us on the air by clicking the donate button on SoFloRadio.com. And thank you for your generous support. Curious about your property value? Find out for free. Compliments of the real estate king, Philip Simonetta, PA, at TheFreeValue.com. Now, back to the real estate king of South Florida. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, thank you for joining us once again. And in this third segment, hey, you're a funny guy. In the third segment, we're actually, with it being Thanksgiving week, um, you know, all of us have to reflect a second, just think about, you know, what we are thankful for in our life. Um, you know, life is crazy. Ups, downs, left, rights, good, bad, you know, all of it. And, um... You know what? I was, I'm sorry. I, I just got. Go ahead. To, you know, when Go ahead. you said that, it, it just got a thought. Like I was looking at this. There's this guy. Uh, as a rapper. His name's Jay Cole, and um, he's like talking about the song he made, like "Love What You Got," right? Yeah. And basically, he was like, you know, when I was young, coming up, I'm like always looking for <laughs> that. You know that. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like yeah. your story. Yeah. It's it's. <laughs> yeah. He's like looking for that next thing. Like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy my mama a house. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna get all these accolades. I'm gonna be noticed as one yeah, of the best yeah, in the yeah, business yeah. and that that sort of thing. And he's yep. like, when it all came, he's like he's, he thought that's gonna give him happiness. And what's then when, next? when it all came, that's his exact <laughs> question. Indeed. Like he was like, what's next, right? Yep. Yep, and yep, then yep. so he made this song. He was like, what happens is when you're always looking out there, it's like you lose sight of all the blessings that's What's here? right here mm -hmm. you know yeah for sure so it's like really important to like really Get count that. our blessings and be thankful yeah. so that's why this is a great holiday it just reminds us to have that attitude of yeah. gratitude you Indeed. know so what i want to do is just take a second for each of us before we before i put this uh, dish together and um just speak about what we're thankful for so let's start let's start with george all right I'm thankful for my good looks and my amazing <laughs> talent. Hey. Uh, joke answer. Uh, obviously, my, my children, but particularly, especially this time of year, I'm thankful for my friends and my family members who had my back during mm -hmm. a, uh, a very dark time. And yeah. it's going to be a, a whole new year and a whole different uh, different thing coming up. In a, and, and thank you. Uh, awesome, I'm very right? thankful to all the people, uh, the good people yeah. that, uh, that I have around me to, to support me. Awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. You know, for me, um, you know, I'm just thankful, number one, for my son and um, for the things I have in my life that I just value. I mean, you know, in my life in the in past, you know, you, you have ups and downs and lefts and rights and, you know, they build character for you and they, they shape you into what you are. Um, you know, for me, um, you know, le re realizing, you know, my my big whys in life is really helping people and and helping people be better off and applying that to my life now you know it took me 38 years to learn that you know and like in the early parts of my life it was all materialistic you know it was all like hey if i get this deal or i buy this house or i get this car or i get this thing or i get that thing and i'd be happy so i'd get there i get it and i'm like well what's next i'm not happy and i get there and it's like what's next I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. You know, I set this goal. I get this business. I sell that thing. I do this thing. And nothing is emptiness. And you get to a point where you're like, what the hell am I doing? And, you know, I was soul searching. You know, I was soul searching, really trying to find what did it for me. And, you know, I, I mean, through a divorce and through, like, family stuff and crazy things. And, and like, I got to a point where I was just like, in a corner you know and like i think a lot of people get there i think you know you put this smile on and you put this mask on and you're always happy and anybody that knows you thinks you like you got it all right and at the end of the day you know you take your mask off and 
you're just like you know you're out there and it's like you realize like yo this this isn't real mm -hmm. like i'm not what people think mm -hmm. and billy joel has a song the stranger it, it's like uh, you're familiar yeah it, it's exact it's just like that you know and when you can become authentic and be yourself and really know what motivates you and makes you makes you be yeah man <laughs> It's like a mountain comes off your back, and it's not about making that deal or making that money, because the money's going to come when you do what you love. You know, money comes, money goes. You know, goals have more come than go. <laughs> right. So, you know, in life, for me, I'm thankful. At the age of 39, I got that. Like I truly got that. And what is going to create wealth in my life isn't just physical things. It's connections, it's relationships, it's people, and it's being that for people it's being you know a light for people it's being support for people and it's, it's being um you know a, a guide like you know it, it's being myself yeah and not having ulterior motives and ulterior things involved yeah and i you know i used to fear that i used to fear to be myself because i thought people would take advantage of that mm. or people would you know, get over or, or, or try. Mm -hmm. And that's just like something in my head that was there. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, sure, people are going to try, you know, but they're not going to. Like, right. they're not, you know, I mean, if you have any kind of skills in, you know, in life, they're not going to. And in the minute they do, you're, you're done with them. Right. And and you put them in that category and just hello, goodbye. But but um, that's where I'm at. Like, when I bring that to the table and I help them, I get everything I want, you know, no, no. more than I need. and And that's about it. Right. And um, so I'm thankful for getting that. I'm thankful for my son and I'm thankful for everything I have right now in my life. And I just want to, you know, use that to increase other people and myself at the same time. So that's that's what I'm thankful for. So pretty awesome. Go. Well, the first thing I'm thankful for is pretty obvious. I'll just hey, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this little piece right here. <laughs> uh, yeah. That. <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> Just being able to help people when they're in need, you know, having family and good friends and people around me that are positive and don't wish harm on me. Wow, cool. All good things. And being able to talk negatively about the Patriots on air. So <laughs> <laughs> it's <always> positive. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> then, I'm just thankful you're here, man, this week. We're having a good week. so Yeah, it's good being up here. <laughs> down up? here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not freezing. Yeah, no snow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah, cool. hey, you talk about freezing. If Karin. it goes below sixty-five, I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna hit. It might be there tonight. It's actually cold. We're wearing your Florida sweater. Think, you know, <laughs> sixty-degree closet. There we go. <laughs> right, right. I think he. Uh, I think he brought the cold with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, it's been raining yeah, cold for sure. <laughs> it's, you're the culprit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so go for, go, Kareem. Let's see what, uh, oh, what are man. you thankful for, man. Well, right first now? of all, I'm 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 thankful uh, for the miracle it is to just be here, you know, like just to to be alive and just to be experiencing this journey of life, you know. That's yeah. one. Um, I'm thankful for my daughter. I love her, you know, mm -hmm. with all my heart. She's a blessing, um, and you know, she's allowed me to just learn things about myself that I didn't know. I'm very thankful for the opportunity to be able to take care of her and to love her. You know, yeah. I'm thankful for my family, my entire family, my friends. I'm thankful for you all here. I'm thankful for this opportunity, you know, mm -hmm. now. Thankful, you know, to be able to learn from, you know, really one of the truly great business people around, you know. Um, Thank you, man. And just a great person, you know. Like, you know, it really, it's, when you get to be around you, it's it's very evident where your heart is, you know. It's not all about the business, even though you're so driven and very, you know, efficient with business. You know, there's this way bigger part of you that's yeah. evident everywhere, you know. Thanks, so bro. Thank you, man. It's real cool. So I'm thankful for that. And, I, you know, I learned from you, so I'm thankful, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'm I'm thankful for the opportunity to be around positive people and to learn the things. Like, I, I heard, you know, kind of echoing, like, what you were saying about what you figured out. Like, I heard this guy say, he said, he just, like, realized, like, oh, my God, like, uh, you know, I, I, I'm... I'm I'm like worrying about stuff and I'm like thinking about stuff and like I'm like all in my head and I'm like all alone feeling this unhappiness and this mm -hmm. worry and all this stuff and he's like well, what I figured out was the all I am is who I am for people. <laughs> That's true. You know what I mean? So who's this crazy guy in my head? 
yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was so profound. Like that's like magical. Yeah, like, yeah. and I can really identify with that. And I'm just thankful to be able to, you know, like I said, this journey to be able to to get these type of insights and apply it to life, and and to get to appreciate life from 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 these experiences. So yeah, I'm thankful. Thank Got you. It. And, awesome. and and I'm thankful for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Man. Pasta's going to be good. <laughs> I can't wait. The jerk chicken. I want the jerk chicken. No doubt, mate. That's and, what I'm talking about. And some festival. Yeah. You know. yeah, for, yeah. for all you islanders out there, you know what we talk about. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start now. We, we can continue our conversation. I'm going to start now preparing the, um, the cucumber salad, the, the tzatziki and the cucumber salad. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Aiden start cutting these up. Let me uh, grab one of those plates real quick. Stage one. Okay, so we're going to do, give me a second. All right, so just going to take the ends, just cut them off. They're no good. Okay. And you want to cut it, you want to cut it just about that thick, okay? Try to make them all the same. Okay, got it. Leave the skin this is on. a cucumber cutting music. Right. I always leave the skin on because I have the nutrients and I actually like it. <laughs> <laughs> you, when you th- talk about the nutrients, right? Like I was at, at, at this lady's home when I was cooking mm-hmm. something. Like uh, I think it was like some vegetable thing. She's like, "What are you doing?" She's like, "You you're killing everything." <laughs> <laughs> when you cook it, yeah, yeah. You cook it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Okay, so first step of the tzatziki. Okay, you're gonna take garlic. And it's gonna go into the fruit processor. And you're going to take a bunch of salt. It's about, I would say about a, maybe a half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of the salt. I think I have it. Okay, so you're going to go about a quarter, I would say a quarter teaspoon of salt. Maybe a little, a little bit more. Okay. And we're going to grind that up first. You want to make it like into like a little bit of a puree. So we're going to do that real quick. It's so simple and so good. I'm just glad I'm so here. I'm thankful. A little bit, <laughs> yeah. little bit of olive oil in there. And I just want to make this into like a little paste real quick before I put the mint. Now we're just going to take the mint and we're going to put it on in here. Mmm. Minty garlic. Gonna put a little more oil. simple you just dump this into that <laughs> wow. it smells great ah, that's awesome. this is another thing another thing like my grandmother used to make when we were kids man it was like like a snack you know it's like awesome what, what? kids when my when we were kids, my grandma. Like, <laughs> what? Does little John do it? <laughs> right. So, anyway, we were messing with that earlier. Turned so, out for what? <laughs> I'm gonna do a ventriloquist act. Next time you go off mic, they won't be able to hear you, but they'll see your lips moving. So I'm just gonna start saying some things into the microphone. <laughs> You ever, you ever yeah. see those? You ever like see bad, those dub, bad dub theater? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You ever see those like on, on like Facebook? Sure. Jimmy Kimmel does them. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> we have this to keep you on the microphone. And all we do is we stir this up, and we make the. I, I want to dip something into that. 
you know, you know what's really like great a, with this like too? A chip. Right? Yeah. What's, what's really great with this too is like just pita. You just dip pita into it. But oh yeah. You take this and you take fresh dough. Yeah. And you actually take the fresh dough, you, you cut it up in pieces and you boil it. Mm-hmm. And just like long pieces of dough. And what you do is you take the dough and after it's done and it's boiled, you, you empty it out. And what you do is you keep about a, like just enough of the water in it to cover the bot cover the dough. You don't strain it all out. And you add this to it with about a half a cup of rice. And then you cook the rice. So you have the dough, the rice, and this. Mm. And it's like a hot soup. Oh, wow. Bro, it's the best, <laughs> man. It's the best. It, I mean, I, I'm telling you, it's like sick. Well, whenever you're doing that one, I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta start. you got to start really getting it in there and, you know, get it. It thins out a little bit because of the oil. It's pretty. Yeah, it looks good. Nah, it's perfect. And then now, might as well throw that in there. Why waste it, right? Right. All right, so I'm like a tidy cooker. Like, I mean, if you guys watch the episodes, like everything's cleaned as I go. So, like, if you look, there's like nothing messed up. Here. <laughs> <laughs> And now you just take the cucumber, and we're gonna, gonna put them in there. All right. Is that something you grind up? No. All just right. Like this, just like a cucumber salad. Oh, I like love this, cucumbers. Sure. Yeah. Nah, it's awesome. Wait till you taste this one. And I'm just gonna add some more. Give me like half of those. I'm gonna eat all that. Don't think I won't. <laughs> All right, so there it is, man. It's coming up. All right, so let's grab some of those plates. There's more on top of the fridge. That's cool. Yeah, just dump the, dump the ends out in the garbage. Dump the ends in the garbage, and I'll, I'll use that one. All right, thank you. So, if you guys remember, the fr- one of the episodes I made hummus and one episode I made feta dip. So, what I used to do is we used to have the dip trio. It was a feta dip, the hummus, and this. And that, that's something I used to sell like, <laughs> like out of like every day. There's, I forgot there's, they, good, there, huh? there's more napkins see? in the cabinet. The forks are right there, guys. Down in the bottom. On the right. Yeah. We have all the amenities here at these uh, palatial <laughs> studios. <laughs> The Taj Mahal. The it's Taj all about Mahal. comfort. Excellent. <laughs> I got mine. All Thank right. you. And See, producer smart. It keeps everything he needs in a drawer over here because I get locked <laughs> in. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so, what, what does everybody think? It's amazing. It's man. just like a, it's simple. It's quick. Takes like what ten minutes. Mm. Right. It's and, um, and you're that's good great. To go. That's nice and white. Mm-hmm. White and fluffy. Summertime is like the best. Yeah, it's just the right amount of garlic in it. The way we did it. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, it's nice and subtle. Mm-hmm. But you know, like, you ever have gyros? Like when people oh, yeah. make gyros and they yeah. use that stuff, it's like creamy though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the stuff you're supposed to use. I oh. see. Like, I'm just imagine that makes sense. Like a, yeah. Even with like a chicken, like when I make my chicken pita. Oh my god, I can imagine. This goes on the chicken, lettuce, tomato, onion, and this. Bro, I, I want a garlic fest with this. <laughs> Back home, so man, it's um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is it. Like you know, real good stuff. Mm-hmm. So 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 this is Greek then. Mm. Lebanese. Oh, Lebanese, Lebanese. Ah, oh. Greek has Greek. Kairos has... The, in that originally Greek. Yeah, but yeah, no, no, that's Greek. That is Greek. But okay. they put dill in it. You okay. have that dill taste to it. Gotcha. And they use like sour cream in it. Mm. It's like it's like tangy. It's not. Mm-hmm. Like you, know, you, you taste the difference, right? No, definitely. Yeah, this is good, real good. Yeah. You know, this is it's smooth. It doesn't have yeah, that great. tangy. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, definitely. No. Yeah. Just don't take a chick out on a date for like a day or two. Like, oh, God, God, kill you, man. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> or, or you know, you know the trick to it? What? You have her eat it with you. Well, there you go. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's a fun date. <laughs> 
<laughs> Both of you. Excuse me. But you won't, you won't notice. Is everybody else got the problem? <laughs> no, the people behind you at the movie theater. Right. <laughs> that no, no, wasn't me. But that's all you know. My date's <laughs> practicing trombone. Right <laughs> 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 That's what I would do. Oh, that's great, man. Okay. I'm going to ask a girl out on a date that I don't like and then just keep pointing at her. Yeah. yeah. We're standing in line. I'm going to go, you know, turn around to the people standing behind us and like go, oh my God. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> Who said that girls don't do that? I have comedy songs about that. So, oh, also in closing, I just. About the thankful for Thanksgiving event, I just want to remind everybody: any anybody is welcome. You know, don't feel like you can't come. You know, or you know, bring your kids, bring your parents, bring your friends. Um, just just come by, just enjoy, and um, you know, meet us and 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 get to know us and let us get to know you. And um, if you can hear this, that means you. <laughs> <laughs> he told, there you go. He spoke. <laughs> and and that was actually worthwhile. <laughs> so <laughs> just across the table. No, I'm just saying that because that doesn't happen a lot. Oh, okay. During All the right. show. <laughs> <laughs> now I get the Ronda Rousey. <laughs> was that a fun fight or what? <laughs> what the first five seconds or the last five seconds? <laughs> the last five seconds. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> wow! Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's like watching a knock. Wow, that was like bone on bone contact there. You could actually hear the crunching. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. That's awesome. That's it. You know, I know that ringing someone's bell is a figure of speech, but I can actually hear the ding. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Cool, man. So. We're going to wrap this episode up. Thank you guys for being part of it. Thank you for, for joining in. And um, anybody needs any real estate transactions, give me a call. Uh, reach out to us, 786-519-7991. Visit the Um Any realtors in the business need some guidance, need some coaching, training, or would like to work for our agency, let's see if we're a fit. Give me a call and uh, see what we can offer you. Uh, give, uh, sounds great guys have a great week have a happy Thanksgiving enjoy your families and thank just, you thank you thank just you I'm thankful for Phil Florida. Phil Simonetta and we're coming from soflowradio.com dot com <laughs>